Megyn Kelly said that Donald Trump is increasingly confused and not as mentally sharp as he wants W. As Business Insider. Are we really going to pretend that Donald Trump is just as vibrant and mentally sharp as he was in 16? Megyn Kelly said. Below are your comments. Trump's signature move, when he miss peaks, has always been to quickly flip his comment and change th. E direction of the flow of conversation. At one time he was very good at it. Now, as old age takes over, he finds he can't do that as well as he used to. That's why I predict he will refuse to debate. For the sake of argument, let's say both Biden and Trump are not as sharp as they once were. Who, then, had, has surrounded, and kept, capable and law-abiding staff around them. Trump had more turnovers than a bakery, and many of his staff would do anything he wanted them to do. Dot 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 dot. Biden, on the off. What has to be considered if it does come down to these two, way too old, candidates, is who will be in the presidential cabinet? No one, no one of any decency, or intelligent enough to make U.S. decisions would want to be in a true MP cabinet. Besides, he's only going to choose. Look whether or not either of these two are mentally declining isn't the biggest issue here. A Donald Trump presidency with no guardrails is the danger. It is the biggest danger to this country since the Civil War. There won't be any heroes left around Trump to protect us from him. He will surround. Next news. Crowds at a redneck Christmas parade come up with one solution for their troubles. Trump. CNN. There were monster trucks, Leroy the Redneck Reindeer and a man bleep toilet paper. And many in the crowd thought a second Trump term could help their economy. Below are your comments. Unemployment numbers are the best they have been in 70 years, and there are still plenty of jobs Ava. I label. If these people still can't find jobs, they are not looking, and want the government to keep support. Ing them. Louisiana is the second poorest state in the country and haven't voted for a Democrat president since C. Linton in 1996. In Mar they voted in a Republican supermajority into their state legislature House and Senate. The only Democrat of any power they had was the Governor John Bell Edwards who got vetoed B. It take about three years for one administration to turn the ship around whether for better or for worse. Two administrations ago, they turned it around for the better and by the end of their time, everything. Ing was rebounding, next guy's administration took over, first two years writing previous administration. Dot 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 dot. Thanks for this article. Now I have a very clear picture of what Trump's poorly educated look like. It's not pretty, and I'm not surprised they are blaming everybody but themselves for their crummy Lee. Vase. These people honestly think Trump cares about them, that's the sad part. Trump wouldn't let them within a mile, unless they bought tickets. Next news. Trump derangement syndrome is real, but it's not what they say it is. Salon. 
In an epic case of projection, followers of an infamous deranged criminal accuse their foes of a men. Tall disorder. Below are your comments. They want us to believe that reacting to their evil, controlling natures in a negative way is some k. kind of problem that we have. Much like a wife beater will constantly try to convince his victim at I. S. Her fault. They are abusive people and will say or do anything for a win. But losers are always G. Yes, TDS is a real thing, but it only afflicts Trump's cult members. The cowardly quizzling from Queens is what he has been all his adult life. I have had little but contempt for him for 44 years now. It might have been longer, but 44 years ago is when I first saw and heard him on television. Being interviewed by Tom Brokaw. He is a malignant narcissist and that's. Those infected with TDS are going to prison in the way I see it. That's what happens when a person puts blind faith in a proven loser and liar. Thank goodness I have a natural immunity to blowhard liars like treasonous traitor Trump and his crim. E family. I like to point out to TDS sufferers that their condition is covered under their Obamacare. Next news. Saturday Night Live, cold open skewers university presidents for their evasive answers at House Ant. Isemitism hearing. Deadline. Just hours after Liz Magill resigned as president of the University of Pennsylvania over the evasive answers she and two other academic leaders gave in a testimony at a House hearing this week, the th. re were being mocked on the Saturday Night Live cold open. So was Rep. Elise Stefanik, RNY, the Trump-supporting congresswoman who's Below are your comments. SNL turned the skit into an attack on Stefanik. That speaks volumes as to the motivation of the hyper-politicized SNL. Deadline's reporting is in line with the same political bias. SNL made sure they included almost everyone they hated. They found a way to dehydrate the hate. A lot more efficient with time available. Couldn't just attack the presidents without including other people they oppose. Comedy gold. Dot. Universities have been condoning hate speech by allowing and encouraging intolerance and cancel cult. You're towards dissenting opinions for the past decade to the point that it's expected behavior within the student body, everyone is a social justice warrior. Therefore they are completely t. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.